All right, this is going to be a different video. Figured I'd show everybody how to make the pictures that I do, and I've done a lot of product shoots, and I pr pretty much threw together a little get together on how I make things and what I use. So, we're going to do one for another Mountain Dew bottle. Use a Leatherman poster board. Pretty much basic things that I use to get everything done as we make a little table, a little product table. Use color packs as well and for this one, since it's a green can, we're going to use a green light up glow stick. Also we'll have scissors on deck to cut whatever we need to with some tape, just in case. So pretty much I've taken new photos of what Pepsi's been doing just because I love Mountain Dew and I figured I'd add this to the collection that the spiked series that they did and I figured next is the green label one so first we are going to take the green flare road flare and we have to somehow get the candle light up that was the thought process behind the shot and take the Leatherman and use one of the uh, the sharp ends, one of the multi-tools it has and make a little hole so that that green flare can go in there and shine out some nice light greens that we can fix up later in uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. So I tried to go in through the bottom as you can see but the bottom of the cam was too hard so I figured yeah, it doesn't matter, I could just go through the side and the back and then we'll hide it. And uh, it actually worked out pretty well. And gave us like a super, super clean shot and I could easily hide that in post. But um, so I shot a little, little time lapse and this is just, I took a table I found on the side, threw some boxes in it, took one of the colored papers and I'll shoot some light off it and just get different shots. The paper is so that you can keep switching them out and get whatever you want as a background. For this one I use blue to simulate the dark. I was going to go outside to get this shot but it was raining so I figured I could do it right inside. Throw the poster board on top to reflect the light down so you get some even light and the boxes were pretty much used to either bring it up closer to the poster board that was reflecting the light. And I mean, it was, I don't know, around the 20 minute process. And uh, I was just shooting this little portable light I got from Walmart. Maybe only costed, I think it was about $12. And uh, it gave a pretty good, pretty good light source. And, you know, I pretty much framed it up and proceeded many different ways. And at the end of the shoot, you're going to see that, I mean, I got the winner. Hopefully you like this little video of how I got it and how I did it. I will be looking forward to doing other ones where it's a whole video and I just vlog it out and show you how I get what I get. Thank you for listening.